I need you to understand something that's of the utmost importance. Nothing happens on a disk, zero. No inserts, updates, deletes, they can't even read it. They must bring it into memory where everything happens there and then they'll write it back to disk. It's called storage. So blocks coming from disk are the Achilles heel of not only Natiza, but every computer system, even your PC. So the key to great performance tuning, writing better SQL, better ETL, is in understanding how to control and manipulate to have less blocks moving. Now, that's the key to the Natiza distribution key, the zone maps, and the FPGA card that we've talked about in the past. Let's take a look at this in action right now. When you create your Natiza table, you've got to give it a distribution key. That's the real big decision that you're going to have to make. And once you do that, you're all set. Now the distribution key will be hashed and that's what's going to distribute the data. It's going to be important in joins, but it's very important for retrieval. As you can see here, we've got our distribution key and it's going to be on EMPNO. So anytime somebody queries EMPNO in their WHERE clause, it's going to go to one SPOO and only one block or two blocks are going to move. And that's the real key to keeping blocks minimized from moving from disk. That user says, I need to find out about employee number eight, and that's a single SPOO retrieve. Right away, think how many blocks you've kept from having to go from disk into memory. That's a brilliant design. If you've learned some things from me, you can see right here what's really happening. There are two extents to this table. That means they created the table, the table header was created, then they put a three megabyte extent out and they loaded that and then they filled it up. They said, give me three more and another extent was loaded. We've got two extents here and that's how Natiza is going to grow the data like the human body. Select asterisk from the table is going to give a full table scan because you've asked for all columns and you didn't have a where clause so all rows are coming back. Take a look at this full table scan. Each one of these spoos had to open two extents to hold their six megabytes of data that they own. That's one data slice per spoo. Now, they read in the first extent, they process it in parallel, they read in the second extent, they process it in parallel, and that's the brilliance of Natiza. Now, instead of the full table scan, we've used the distribution key in our WHERE clause, and as you can see, only one spoo is contact. It's like laying breadcrumbs down. If we hashed the distribution key to put it on a spoo, when we have to retrieve it or go back, we just follow the breadcrumbs because we do the hashing again and we know which spoo that's on.